Hello friends. So I am here today to share with you some key tips for young fresher MBA students or people who are wanting to get into the uh, corporate world. Uh, it's a tough situation. Uh, all over the world jobs are um, uh, not as many as they were around last year. Uh, times are difficult, competition is higher. Uh, younger students are seeking help and want more help. and um, as uh, senior professionals in the industry it is probably our duty to try and help um, of course um, this help is only available to people who are seeking it uh, those who want to learn those who want to reach out will um, come out and get this help so recently i spoke to um, my alma mater my mba college and um, some of the final year or final semester students who wanted some help in, in preparing for interviews and i found that many of the tips that i shared as a result of years of interviewing candidates were probably useful for um, uh, everybody uh, who wanted this help so in that interest i am sharing some of these tips firstly uh, the basics right so the basics are of course be on time um, uh, you know particularly these um, these days interviews will be on video um, be well prepared well dressed professionally attired um don't be in your shorts um irrespective of uh, knowing fully well that the video will only be um up to your shoulders or chest it is important to feel confident and when you are well dressed you actually feel confident and it shows in your uh, how you talk how you behave during the interview uh, find a, a good spot in your house or you know wherever you are uh, good signal test your audio test your video in advance don't do all this during the interview there are candidates who um leave this for the last moment and then of course they uh, paint a very poor picture of themselves during the discussion be on time and one question some candidates asked me is that um how you know if, if the interview is um, you know over phone should we even consider dressing formally my response usually is that you should always err on the side of caution right so um it is it's important that you are well dressed even if the interview is on telephone because uh, it will show in your sincerity in your voice in how you respond that you are well prepared being well dressed is part of being well prepared so don't underestimate the power of uh, being um professionally attired during these interviews even if they are on phone now there are three key tips that i thought i will share with you um one is of course prepare in advance uh, what do i mean prepare in advance you know so find out what kind of job you are applying to you know what kind of characteristics are there and try and weave those characteristics into your response saying directly that i am a very hard working and full of integrity candidate is of no meaning during the interview because you know everybody says that and there is no way the interviewer can actually judge unless of course you make some really silly mistake so it is important that you understand what the role requires and if you have those traits bring out those traits um in 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 the uh, responses for example if the job includes um, some kind of a field service or you know field service engineer or operations manager and you are not very good with dealing with people you have um, you know you have difficulties talking over phone or uh, meeting new people then you have a problem right so you either uh, this is not the right job for you or if you still want to apply then you have to look for strengths that will help here on the contrary if these are your strengths and you miss out on highlighting these trends in your um, introduction then it's your loss right so you you had some strength which you are missing out the second uh, important part is um, an interview is an exchange right an exchange between two individuals um, do not make it one sided there are many candidates i meet who um, if given a chance will speak for 20 of the 25 minutes or you know as much as they can uh, probably their apprehension is that if they you know stop talking if they don't uh, give enough information uh, they are reducing the chances no 
you are actually reducing your chances by giving over information so much information that it cannot be processed the interviewer has no clue by the time you are in your third or fourth minute about what you said in your first minute so the ideal time to uh, factor your response is 2 to 3 minutes and in that time keep looking at the interviewer irrespective of whether the interviewer is on phone uh, of course phone you have to imagine uh, if you know on, on video keep looking look for clues where the interviewer is either um, disinterested or or annoyed at you at uh, extending the answer you know that's the time to summarize and quickly cover ideally you should not reach that stage so my suggestion will be keep your response to 2 to 3 minutes and then look for responses like and you could even ask them do would you like more details and so on the third important tip is around uh, uh, the format right usually most of these interviews for fresher or young, young, younger candidates are in three parts uh, one is more about who are you the second is what have you done uh, something about that which will demonstrate your fitment to the role and third is why should i be hire you which is slightly behavioral and you know contextual uh, so to say uh, you could get any variation of these kind of questions they will never be direct they will be hidden in some questions uh, you could get 10 questions in which these three portions are hidden my advice to all candidates is please prepare write it down right write down the three components in various formats uh, like questions like you know tell us about yourself uh, give us some three you know strengths and weaknesses of yourself what are you good at what will your friends tell us about you these are questions of the first type the second uh, set is more around give us some examples of success stories from your last work experience or or maybe you know uh, some projects where you are successful of course this is useful for students who have some experience um and uh, if you don't have experience then you should bring up your project work or you know assignments that you've done so uh, and the third one is more around you know slightly psychological and you know cultural fit that you have to um, that the interviewer is trying to examine right so um, three key tips prepare in advance remember the interview is an exchange and third the keep an eye on the interview format and you know write down those items in advance um one small suggestion uh, um, which is probably useful for all three tips is that don't appear over eager or over prepared it does not uh, help you because your answers will come out as extra prepared and um, you know the interviewer will always be under that suspicion that maybe either you knew the questions or or you are just overly eager what if something in you know your career or job happens which you are not prepared for will you be up for it and so on right so friends these were some of the tips that you could use if you are a young mba student or engineering student or any other field as well and are preparing to appear for a job interview in the next few weeks uh, we are happy to help you we of course if you are listening to this means that you looked for this information and you wanted this information so you already have an edge over some of the others be confident take the world um, in you in your stride and you know with these tips um, you could do really really well and a request to some of the uh, my friends and colleagues uh, who are listening to this or watching this video um, please try and share your tips um, either in comment section or through your Uh, video or audio messages it we owe it to this generation that you know in this these tough times if we can help them prepare better they will be in better position to uh, you know in these interviews and be successful so friends thank you very much hope this was useful uh, see you next time